A truly welcome development that came as no surprise. So what else is new? Still the latest 6.3% GDP growth posted by the country in the second quarter of this year, the second highest in the ASEAN. It's a full two percentage point jump from the last year's mark that our Sujin Kim dwells on at length to include the industries that fuel this latest GDP surge in this report. <laughs> The Philippine economy posts a strong year-on-year -year gross domestic product or GDP growth of 6.3% in the second quarter of the year. This is a significant jump from the 4.3% recorded in the same quarter of last year. The industries of construction, transportation and storage, as well as other services had the fastest growth in the second quarter. Meanwhile, gross national income expanded to 7%. Today, we are pleased to announce that the Philippine economy has sustained its robust growth trajectory, demonstrating resilience amid various domestic and external challenges. National Economic and Development Authority Secretary Arsenio Balisacan considers this development very encouraging. Our gross domestic product growth has accelerated, keeping us on track to achieve our target growth rate of 6 to 7 percent for 2024. In fact, the Philippine economy is once again among the front runners in the ASEAN, surpassing Malaysia, Indonesia, and China. This performance keeps our position as one of, one of Asia's best performing major uh, emerging economies. The GDP expansion was driven by a significant increase of 11.5% in total investments, largely in construction. Public construction sustained double digit growth. Uh, 20.8% from 12.1%. Private construction likewise accelerated, particularly commercial construction. Department of Budget and Management Secretary Amena Pangandaman lauds this win. Following the uptick in employment, Trabajo Party List Attorney Filimon Javier maintains this cements how economic reforms and policies under the Marcos administration are in top form. However, a year-on-year -year decline of 2.3% was noted in the agriculture sector due to the impact of adverse to extreme weather conditions. With the sector adversely affected by the El Nino phenomenon. Food security remains government's most urgent priority. To protect our people from such economic shocks, and sustain the momentum for poverty reduction. Meanwhile, Finance Secretary Ralph Recto and the NEDA Secretary expect inflation to cool down and settle within the target band. We expect it to revert to its longer-term downtrend as we aim for our target range of 2 to 4 percent. House Speaker Martin Romualdez reaffirms government's assurance that improvements in the Philippine economy will be felt by all Filipinos and not just a select few. Sujin Kim from the National TV Network for the New and Better Philippines.